Okay, now that the excitement of the LG G5 unboxing has worn off, let's get to the actual uh, phone itself. Now, what I'm going to try to do is go over like uh, different parts of the LG G5, such as like the software, the camera, performance, usability, and so forth. And uh, maybe at the end, I'm going to do one uh, mega review. Okay, so let's quickly start with the actual specs itself. Now, as you could probably tell, uh, this is a premium smartphone, meaning this is LG's uh, flagship phone. It's made to compete with the likes of the Samsung Galaxy S7, S7 Edge, the iPhone 6S, and the upcoming um, iPhone 7. Now, in terms of build quality, um, a lot has been said about it. Uh, I myself, I do like the build quality. Uh, there are some quality issues. I don't know if you could see that, but like the you could kind of see like a little bump over there um, where they put the I guess the coating on top of it um, you know which isn't something that I would expect out of a flagship and also even though this camera so far has been amazing and it's got a really unique setup uh, the bump on there just makes it look ugly um, but the thing is you know you could actually lay it flat like some curved phones where you can now let's talk about the build quality real quick I still have my uh, original uh, HTC One M7 and you know despite the fact that it's like a four-year-old phone almost the build quality here it's still amazing you know as you could probably tell it's got really nice chamfered edges there's little details um, the curved backing is nice although it can't lay flat um, and the feel is just a better feel and of course the boom sound speakers now with the LG G5 it's still a premium phone and it doesn't feel cheap by any means. Some people have said it feels like a little too light. Um, it, it has a nice heft to it and then when you hold it, although it's not as comfortable to hold as the, uh, the HTC One or the Samsung Galaxy 7, um, it, it feels more like holding an uh, iPhone, you know, because it, is, it has that just the squarish uh, design. Now the internals itself is actually running the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 processor. In some countries, um, you uh, might get a different processor in there uh, that is not the uh, Qualcomm processor. And also, some other specs is it actually has, as you could probably tell here, I'm going to zoom in real close, it has um, an amazing uh, 5.3 inch QHD screen that's like a 2K screen um, and this has a ridiculous uh, 554 uh, PPI and uh, let's focus on that and so you know it has an amazing screen no doubt about it now this is an LCD panel it's not an AMOLED panel like the Galaxy S7 but you would not be complaining so other specs on here it actually has uh, 4 gigs of RAM um, as you can see here, it also has a uh, nano SIM slash micro SD card slot, which I really, really love. And the amazing thing is, it says, you know, it, it goes up to two terabytes, theoretically, because there are not two terabyte micro SD cards available, I don't think, um, in, for the mainstream yet. But, you know, you could get up to a 200 gig SD, micro SD card slot if it's available. <laughs> And then on top, you know, there is the actual headphone jack. It also has an IR blaster. So you can see back here, here's the actual dual camera setup, 16 megapixel, 8 megapixel. And it also has a, your touchscreen sensor, but this is also power sensor. So when you press it, it actually turns off the phone. And then when you put your finger over it, it opens it back up. And then if you look down here at the bottom, it does have the new USB Type-C port for faster data transfer and also quick charging. It has the mic underneath and a single mono speaker. And then on the side, it has the volume rocker. I'm glad they put it back on the side. I really did not like it on the back. And that is the hardware tour and it has the unique modular design and I'll get to that in another video. But overall, this is a premium quality phone. It has beastly specs. Um, this is a really fast phone. But as always, you know, when it comes down to it, it does come down to the software. And um, I, one thing I did want to mention, the screen itself, this is using the Gorilla Glass 4 screen. It is running Android 6.0 Marshmallow as well. And 
let's go ahead and uh, get to the good parts the actual software that you're going to be using on a regular basis okay let's actually get to the software let's start with that because uh, that is where I'm going to spend most of my time initially on this phone as you can tell I have on the always on feature and it works really really well it like they could only like drains like about an maybe like one percent per hour so it's pretty good and um, I did uh, do my fingerprint again and um, it's a lot quicker now because I got more angles of my finger so and if you notice that flashing there that is the auto laser for the phone I'm thinking or maybe it's the light sensor yeah it's the, probably the sensor but let's go ahead and go to the software itself I'm gonna try to zoom in as much as possible and um, this is actually running um, Android Marshmallow uh, 6.0 uh, and it does have LG's skin on top of it and immediately uh, you're gonna notice that it does not have the traditional um, app tray for Android it, it has a more like an iOS uh, feel and um, I don't like that myself now you can put an app tray back on okay but it does have some caveats to it so if you go here to your menu and you go to display and then you go to home screen you could choose the easy mode now um, LG they do have a newer version of the software uh, we haven't got it as consumers but it's going to be third option and that should uh, give you back the app tray so let's go ahead and go there and as you can see it's it's back however it is like the easy mode and so um, it takes some of the usability away um, but it does bring that app tray back at least temporarily um, I'm actually gonna put uh, the Nova launch on there I, I don't like uh, these skins that LG and Samsung put on their phones uh, so let's go back to the regular home and um, there's really not much to the actual screen the home screen itself um, but let me actually talk about like the actual screen itself okay um, I did say this is a QHD screen and it is amazing I mean I, I can't I can't state that enough it, everything's really sharp clear the viewing angles are great um, and the reason why I had this black background I just want to show you the blacks they're black you know they're really deep and um, if you actually look at some of the, the video that's on board you know it's this is a really cool video that LG has um, it has a 360 degree so you could actually feel like you're actually on the roller coaster which is uh, pretty awesome so it kind of gives you a quick idea of what uh, this phone's uh, capable of. Let me go back here. So um, you also have uh, additional features um, that do come pre-installed. Um, I or I don't know if they're actually features. Some just call it bloatware. Okay, now at least here for the T-Mobile variant, they do have some T-Mobile apps already pre-installed. They have some tools, you know, standard tools, and they also have some LG-related stuff, you know, and then. Um, there's also some uh, management tools here who are just basically quick access but overall there's not a lot of bloatware on there there was like a, a lookout security and Amazon um, and thankfully you can uh, remove or uh, disable a lot of the software on there you know um, I myself I prefer more of a pure experience but obviously this is not a Nexus so you're not gonna really get that so if you go up here to the quick access settings uh, what's great is you could go to your edit right here and you could change uh, which options and also the order in which they appear um, and there's also other things such as like do not disturb um, there's also a screen and file sharing which I don't think most people are going to use but it's nice to have the options there what I like about LG's take on it is um, it, besides the fact that they currently don't have the the app tray automatically here um, is the fact that a lot of the features that it put on here um, they're not for the sake of just putting it on here they, they actually uh, make sense and make it easier to use so um, let's go ahead and get into the actual uh, system settings itself let's go here now this has like a tab interface um, which I don't like and you know Samsung has something very similar in its touch switch but you could actually change that you could go here and choose list view and I like the list view better it just makes it a lot uh, easier to get to you know you don't have to go from screen to screen which is real nice 
and in terms of like um, features here uh, it's it's pretty much almost like a stock vanilla flavor but it's as you dig in deeper you know there are some uh, additional features here um, like say for example if you actually go to the home screen itself um, let me see you could actually change things like the grid you know how many apps are on the grid itself um, you could also uh, put in uh, this uh, swipe effect too um, as well so um, if you could also go to the home screen and to make changes at home screen but uh, some of the places where LG has put in their own spin on things you could go to the display right here and then if you go to the home touch buttons um, you can actually change the uh, button combination so here you have your standard back uh, your home and then also your uh, uh, multi task window uh, but you can also add two additional ones notification capture and cue slide and what cue slide is let me show you let me move it, it up there okay and then let's uh, let me show you real quick and you notice now there's a cue slide so that's like some basically uh, quick apps uh, now this I think the cue slide is like a window in window feature and I'll show you that on when we actually do a video um, I'll show you an example of that okay so um, I'm actually gonna uh, remove that because I don't like that button combination but I just want to show you how to work you just drag it out and it's gone and um, you can also change the color if you want to from uh, the default white to black um, I actually like the white it uh, makes it easier okay so you know you got daydream and always then there's an auto always on display so nothing really different there and for your storage and USB um, it is a, a default 32 gig thank goodness uh, this isn't an iPhone where you have your base model with 16 gigs which is kind of ridiculous nowadays um, but you really have about 9 gigs available um, when you actually uh, I'm sorry you have about 22 gigs available and 9 gigs of it is news uh, for the actual you know operating system and so forth so um, that's quite a bit but not too bad you know and as, as you know as always you have the wonderful micro SD expansion if you need more now I will say that that expansion it, it, even though it uses the newer version of Android that can um, you know make the external storage act like the internal storage uh, LG removed that feature just like Samsung did uh, they have their reasons um, I don't agree with it there's definitely a workaround for that um, but you can have some have some tech skills <laughs> to do that now uh, other than that there really isn't too much here that just stands out except for the whole uh, fingerprint portion you know you could do your fingerprints right there yeah there's also uh, it's a battery and uh, power saving modes and it's nice that it actually tells you uh, how much longer you have remaining and you know I haven't done you know had enough time to actually see the full battery usage of this phone but so far it's been pretty solid and then it really depends on how you use your phone but I myself um, I watch a lot of YouTube videos and on this QHD screen it's probably going to drain it pretty fast um, so that is uh, basically the settings uh, you know I mean, there's not anything that's really unusual here um, but like I said earlier you know uh, what I like about LG's take on it is, is it, it, I still prefer stock but you know the features that it adds it actually uh, you know makes sense and uh, also at the same time it's not uh, super duper confusing um, so uh, let's go ahead and get to some of the other apps um, that are already uh, pre-installed and that might be useful uh, it really depends on uh, what you need out of it okay so um, in terms of apps that uh, it comes pre-installed I'm gonna go over that really quick besides your actual uh, carrier apps uh, the one that LG has they don't put a lot of blokeware on there which is what I like so um, they have the uh, IR blasters I mentioned so they have this really uh, this quick remote that you can use so you can add a remote for whatever TV that you have and um, also another thing that they have they have LG health so you put in your information and then you know you could use this to monitor your health and stuff which is nice and also they just have this thing called LG smart world um, I didn't really set that up but uh, basically it, it gives you additional LG type stuff but you're gonna have to give them some access to your information 
and then here in your management these are really like quick settings so it allows you to get to stuff really really quick so you could look at you know things like memory and uh, storage and you know and, and so forth so really quickly it's just really quick shortcuts and other than that those are the main apps so it's pretty quick you know and there's LG friends manager I didn't really try that out but let me see what that has let's go ahead and accept that oh yeah but it needs more permissions once again I, I don't really want to use that and here's a music app really simple uh, nothing really amazing there now um Oh, a feature that I alluded to earlier, uh, it was kind of like the uh, multi-window feature. So uh, if you go into the videos, and let's just play that roller coaster one again. You play it. Um, whenever you play in a video, you have this option um, up here. Where was it? There was an option that, oh, uh, well, that is not there. Um, that's a 360 video, so maybe that doesn't apply. But let's go to like a, a, a regular video, okay, that I did earlier. So when you press that, see right here, there's an option right here. You press that, and guess what? You have, uh, you know, your uh, window and window f feature. And so, um, whenever you put that shortcut uh, for Q slide, you know, some apps uh, have this. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's only available for certain apps, and uh, this hardware could definitely handle that. So, uh, you know, just a gallery app, nothing really uh, amazing there. And here's the camera. It opens up really fast. Um, let me take a quick picture real quick and you know I'm gonna be doing more camera samples and stuff and so um, yeah, it's a very uh, basic you know um, if you go to the actual uh, manual mode or yeah the manual mode you could adjust a lot of things but one of the things I don't like about this even though it's very simple you know simple things like changing the um, the actual resolution of it I, I don't see it there I wasn't able to find uh, anywhere an option you know you know like when you take a picture it takes it at a, a full resolution and so it it uses up a lot of space like if I took this picture here it would be like a five meg picture and I don't want that so I wish there was an easy way to change the resolutions uh, you know like like it is for the uh, Samsung uh, phones and so that is a uh, basically overall that is a quick tour of the software uh, that you get uh, right out of the box now on a future uh, videos that I do on this. I'm going to be putting Nova Launch on here. I haven't put anything else on here. Um, this is pretty much brand new, fresh out of the box. And so as I'm going through, uh, you know, a lot of my testing, I'm going to, it's not going to look like it does right now. Uh, but overall, you know, you know, it's a, it's a good skin. I mean, like I said, LG adds features that make sense. There's not a lot of bloatware that I like. Um, besides the whole, uh, missing app tray by default um you know I, I don't really find thing bad about uh lg software and the hardware itself um you know i, I really like it uh it's not the highest I, I would say quality finish um or design but it's not bad neither this is a, a really good design this is a premium phone once again and the screen um i can't say enough about how really amazing the screen is is spectacular and also the specs are fast and uh you know hopefully um we'll get quick android updates you know that's the only thing that i do not like about buying manufacturer phones like from lg samsung um about the only manufacturer that keeps up updates really well is motorola in a perfect world you know we'd get a nexus um software experience uh with uh the features that you know lg um and Samsung have with the expandable storage with which I still really hate the fact that Nexus doesn't have expandable storage you know modular designs and so forth and you know the premium uh, build quality so um, that is it for this particular video that was a quick rundown of the initial first um, use of the LG G5 and in future videos I'm going to be doing more uh, detailed testing and uh, usage so check back for those videos as well thanks for checking out this episode and as always if you like these videos be sure to click on the subscribe button and for full written content audio content and additional geek stuff head over to geekoutdoors.com and i'll see you outdoors on the very next episode